hey head settlers welcome back to my channel sorry for the long wait i know i know i know it has been a while well um i don't even know where to begin but it has been a hard time and right now i'm officially four weeks postpartum and this is my postpartum belly this is us right here four weeks after the little man and yeah that's us so where to start with sure the day i went into labor yeah. hmm. it was on a sunday it was on a sunday sunday morning you know and mind you the previous day I was doing laundry. I was so active. I was doing laundry. I was doing blankets. You know, I was in the mood. And with me doing that, in my mind, I was like, no, next week, it's Chaile. Next week, it's like, next week is here. Next week, my baby is here. I don't even know why I had that feeling that my baby is going to be coming next week. I don't know why. But for me, it was like, yeah, next week. It has to be next week. You know? And all right, fine. A Saturday, I did my laundry. I went to the bank. <clears throat> I was so active that Saturday. I was so active. I went. I remember going to the bank, waking up in the morning, you know, doing laundry and all of that. And I remember the night before, I had I had pizza. We didn't even cook. I had pizza. All right. I had I, I had a few junk food that night. I had junk, serious junk food, junk, 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 and that's my dad for you. And. When when I was sleeping in the AMs, I had minor cramps. And I was like, ugh, these cramps again. They're back, you know. And they went quiet. Around 5 AM, they came back again. And they were so mild in a sense that, ugh, I felt like I was on my periods or something. I felt like my periods were coming. And I was like, ugh, what's happening now, you know. And... I just kept on like moving around, moving around in the bed, like moving around, you know. And I was sleeping with my mother in the same room. And waking up that morning, we were just busy talking, you know, talking about... Because, oh, talking about my baby shower, the surprise baby shower that my boyfriend had for me. You know, we were busy talking about that day and we were looking through the pictures like, Oh, my mama, my mama, yo, and, 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 you know just chatting around six right so i went to the bathroom and i when i get there just before that me going to the bathroom was uh, me going to the bathroom was okay mom and god um, you know like these these cramps and, 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 and. and then she was like you're a winner isn't it time I'm like no i can't be you know it can't and going to the bathroom um after doing the the, the, the after peeing and everything I, when I was, when it was time for me to wipe myself, actually, I was like, and then there was a mucus plug. It was like slimy. It was clear. It was transparent, slimy. It had a little bit of blood, though. And I was like, shit. Because I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I, I love Googling. So I know for a fact, because two weeks prior, my, my labor, I kept on googling signs of labor, signs of labor. Almost like every day, signs of labor, signs of labor. You know, checking myself if this isn't labor, if this isn't labor. I remember even having false labor. <laughs> Yo, you know, that's that's the most crucial thing. I think I had two false alarms. So, hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm sorry for filling in this late. I got admitted last night. And I just had crazy cramps. Like I felt so much pain in my pelvic area. So I'm waiting for the doctor now to come and check me. It's still early. It's like half past seven now. And they've been waking me up for like every three hours monitoring my BP and the baby's heart rate and everything. So now I just took my vitals. And then I'm waiting for the doctor. And then hopefully everything is fine. I'm not yet due. I'm like eight weeks away. So hopefully everything is okay. Hopefully 
I pray to God because I feel okay. I feel okay. I feel okay. I have to feel okay. I I feel okay actually. So yeah. So I'm using a public institution. Well, I'll show you. Um, I'll try and flip the camera because I'm using my phone to work it. So yeah, let me show you. So this is where I'm at. Like that's a bunch of my things because I just packed last minute things. See, it's like well ventilated and everything. Like, yeah, there's like my mini toiletry bag, and yeah, I'm not even yet finished. I haven't even bought everything for my for my baby thingies. But as soon as I buy everything, I'll make a video where I'll pack my bag because I just took these. Because of last minute thingies. Because they needed me to come in with a bag. And everything. So I'm now waiting for my breakfast. My boyfriend is coming with my breakfast. And y'all. Alarms two four sevens. Yeah, it's so heartbreaking, you know, having pains, going to um, oh, I even gave birth at a public hospital. I'm seeing so many things at once. Sorry, but um, going there and having to be discharged on something, yeah, hurry. No, it's it's just too early, honey. It's early, um, yeah. Uh, uh. Mm -mm. And then when I'm seeing the mucus plug I'm, to myself, I'm like, shit, is it, <laughs> is it already chile? You know? And I wiped myself and I took that piece of um, tissue and I went to my mom and I'm like, mom, born again. And then, <laughs> and a lot of things went through my mind. I'm like, yo, I'm finally going to meet this little man. What's he's, what is he going to be looking like, you know? And I remember um, my mom was like, okay, let's go to the bathroom. Can I tell you that my mom bathed me? And I had downloaded this app. It's um, contractions. Um, like you can time your contractions. And I remember I, I started, um, you know, counting the, my, my contractions and like how many minutes apart are they? And they kept on, you know, getting intense, intense, intense. They were like five minutes. No, they weren't five minutes. Were they five minutes? Yeah, they were five minutes apart. Yeah, they were five minutes apart. And they came, they came, they came. And then I went to the bathroom. My mother bathed me. After bathing me, we called my boyfriend. And he was on his way to work, actually. He was going to work that morning. Yeah, he was working in overshift. And over time and he was like okay i'm gonna be there now now and and my aunt was just there my granny was there you know and i remember my granny on like being on some issue hurry you know i sh i just wish they'd allow me to go in there with you because the thing is with a public institution they don't allow any visitors into the maternity ward it's just the mother and the baby only and no other visitor so that's just about what happened and my granny was like Ish, i just wish i'd go with you blah 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 you know and for me it was so devastating thinking that i'm just gonna be all alone in that room you know throughout the whole process of dilation and what 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 up until my baby comes you know and my mother when i got into my boyfriend's car when he came through my mother just said to me pray Make sure, make sure to pray. That's what I'm going to tell you, pray. You know. And I went there, got in there with my bags. They checked my bags and everything. Mind you, 
the last Sunday was my second false alarm. So the next Sunday I was there again. They were like, ah, we look happy. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm back, you know. And um, I got there and I kid you not, the, the nurses were the most sweetest people ever. They're, they're very nice. They're such cordial beings. I don't want to lie. They give you top treatment. They, you wouldn't even tell that it's a public institution. They're so, so, so nice. Um, I got there at around half past eight. Got admitted. They took my vitals and everything. And um, the pains started worsening. The pains started worsening. And they would hit me. You know the pain. The pain. <laughs> You know, give a with this guy, but what give a Ish. Ish, the pain. Hey, <laughs> oh, oh, that pain. It was 10 times worse period pains. It was excruciating. I don't want to lie. It was like, oh, someone's ripping my body apart. And they would give me a five minute break apart, and I'd catch a breath. And it have been no carry. I haven't even gone into pains. They would vanish. Like for that whole five minutes, your body would be like in complete silence mode of pains. And then they come again. And when they hit, they hit harder than the last time. You know. And I would be trying to bend and they would hit. And I would stay in that position and not move. You know. I remember at around okay when i got there they were like okay we're gonna check you after four hours blah, blah, blah. i'm like yo four hours then i started doing some stretches started going on google how to you know fasten up um a labor process you know how to dilate quicker i started doing stretches i started moving around but there was like serious pains I, I didn't even have the energy to share a tear because it was so painful that i was crying from inside from pilot to inside guys oh and I just kept on telling myself, no more. Oh, no more. I remember, <laughs> I remember telling myself these words. <laughs> My boyfriend calling me. I'm like, dude, no more. <laughs> He's like, do you still want three children? I'm like, hey, baba. From here, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Make me absent. I'm done. You know? And they came around half past eleven. They checked me and they're like, "No, you're still, you're still down." Like two centimeters. Because when they checked me, when I got admitted, they were like, "No, you're just only one centimeter." I'm like, one centimeter. And calling my aunt, I'm like, "Yo, Marike, one centimeter, mama na kar." Yo, sabdura kakalamus. Yo, and I think that's what got me panicking. Around half past eleven, mind you, nakan four hours and i'm two centimeters i'm like shit no 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 this can't be happening and i remember that lady saying ah you should tell them to bring you a magazine and some earphones honey because when that was some like camp i'm like <laughs> more people i'm like no this can't be happening and there was this other male nurse and he was like um are you gonna be giving birth today because naka six in my shift i'm like that's what i want you know, and the lady was like, no, mm -mm, we won't be helping her. Maybe around the 8 a.m. she'll be giving birth. And I remember saying, God, please, please. By six, please. I remember saying that prayer. And after half past 11, you know, the pains were insane. The pains were crazy. The pains started getting even worse. I remember, <laughs> you know, the lady that was cleaning, you know, I was like, yo, and I wanted panaros. I wanted, yeah, and I remember texting my boyfriend. I was like, no, you're not allowed to take that. I was texting his sister's and one was in Jovic. <laughs> Yo, I, the pains were worse, guys. Yo, the pains. I remember texting her, my boyfriend was like, no, you're not allowed to take those things during pains. And I remember some nurse came through and she was like, 
it's perfect ka wena di pay it sentse di tlogo go tla sentse di tlogo go tla I'm like you go pa di please it's a di pay it le are ke go fa tsone but ga di ke go thusa ka se tla ke go fa tsone fela and mind you di di joga di tsing at all so she gave me the two pills after taking them not even longer than 3 minutes i threw up started gagging out gagging out gagging out and i only had custard that morning just for me to supplement my energy levels and i started throwing up throwing up throwing up throwing up and she gave me an injection she was like this is going to help you not to throw up blah, blah, blah. and i was having diarrhea yo 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 and every time when i went to the bathroom to go do the deed you know it was a sense of relief on those pains <laughs> You know, I remember around three, this other lady, Magogo I think she was cleaning. Um, she, I think she's a cleaner. Yeah, she's a cleaner most definitely. And then, oh, mama, You know, mungule mungu ona tana kada room. I was literally asking for help from that person. I didn't even know where you were a janitor or or a porter or a nurse or whoever. Each and every person on that like dream, I was like, when am I going to give birth? When am I going to give birth? Because they were so excruciating. And then that nurse was like, breathe, breathe. When the pains come, you need to breathe. Breathe. I'm like, <laughs> Yo guys oh, oh, I still remember the day I was like you know what this pain I wouldn't even wish it on my worst enemy Like that's how bad the pain was And you know I'm in pain And I'm busy telling this old lady that's the cleaner I'm like mama I'm in pain And she's like yo I know Hey she, birth pains Hey guys Hey now she's busy telling me about her daughter i'm like lady i don't have time for you to tell me about your daughter i'm in pain help me, help me. <laughs> and i was alone in that room ne? and i could hear all the way through the and i could hear all the way through to the reception i could hear the nurses like laughing about how i'm busy asking for like help from every person that enters the room and then around five Around five, around twenty past five, that's when I was lying down on the bed. I had put in the blankets in between my my legs, you know. I was screaming, and the contractions were like insane. It was like someone was ripping like my my skull apart. It was like so so excruciating. And I remember when I was lying down when they hit me at first, I. I felt the urge to push and I pushed and I felt like something was like coming out and I remember screaming sister and someone was cleaning the other rooms and then she was like hey and and that's when I found out for I was nine centimeter dilated and I got the well I got cut twice so you can just imagine and to six my baby boy is here and I kid you not it was the most precious thing ever I was crying I was praying I was giving praise to God I was like he's finally here I was so happy he was so tiny and just the sweetest being ever. <laughs> and yeah, that's just about what happened. I remember shouting, My water broke when I was busy shouting. You know, and when she came, she was like, Yo, your water broke. You know, and I walked up and yeah, it was pushing time and five minutes in jail I was done and my baby boy was here. And yeah, that's that's it for me to you guys. Um, I will be inserting other videos on my postpartum treatment treatment on how I treated my stitches and everything. Um, I'll make sure to upload it as soon as soon as soon as possible. Thank you for tuning in in this video up until thus far. 
share your story too. I want to hear it and let me know what you think about my story and if you had the very same experience at a public institution. And yeah, that's just about it.